courteous greetings and a warm welcome to all my viewers and students. You are watching Class Remotely and this is your teacher Nazabin. Today our lesson will be basically focused on the arrival of the Europeans in India. We will also be specially looking into the coming of the Dutch in India. When the Mughal Empire in India was at its peak of power and glory, several European trading companies were getting attracted to the islands around Indonesia. Now, the question is, why were these European companies getting attracted to these Indonesian islands? Because they were getting the opportunity to buy spices from them. Spices like pepper, nutmeg, cinnamon and cloves. While trading with Indonesia, these European companies, that is the English, the Dutch, the French and even the Danes, all these companies realized that India also had spices like Indonesia and not just spices. India also had textiles, perfumes and precious stones. All these items were very popular in Europe and there was a great demand for them. By the middle of the 17th century, several European trading companies had settled in India. They were all trading in Indian goods. Here, one very important thing to note is that the Portuguese were the first to arrive in India. In fact, the Portuguese arrived on the Indian soil much before the Mughals. The Portuguese landed up on Indian soil on May 20, 1498 AD. This happened because the Portuguese sailor Vasco da Gama had just discovered a direct sea route to India. He arrived at Calicut, an important seaport in India, on May 20, 1498 and he was well received by the hereditary monarch, the King Zemorin, a local ruler in India. This historical record shows that the Portuguese came to India much before the Mughals. In 1526, the Mughals were ruling only certain parts of India and it was only by 1700 that the Mughals became rulers of most parts of the Indian subcontinent. Now let's look into the coming of the Dutch in India. In the year 1602, the United East India Company of the Netherlands came into existence. After the formation of this company, the Dutch government gave it permission to trade in the East Indies, including India. The Dutch established their first factory in Masulipatnam in Andhra Pradesh in 1605. Gradually, they also started trading centers in various parts of India like Chinsura, Surat, Patna, Cochin and Nagapatnam. The presence of the Dutch on the Indian subcontinent lasted from 1605 to 1825. In India, the Dutch were basically interested in textiles. They wanted to exchange these textiles with the spices they traded in the East Indies. The Dutch failed to stay on in India because of the stiff competition they faced from the rising English and French powers. The Dutch East India Company also declined because they had to face frequent interference from the government of Netherlands. Thank you so much for watching. 
click on the description below this video to get access to the notes I have typed here. Let me know if you have anything to ask. And I'll meet you soon with another video. Goodbye.